Hello, hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to an MVL Gaming live stream. Today we are going to be unboxing Wonder Boy Returns on the PlayStation 4. This is the collector's edition, we'll be going over some gameplay as well and this is going to be really cool so let's get to it. This is the first game I've actually picked up from Strictly Limited Games. And here it is. It is in this beautiful big box. Wonder Boy Returns, the collector's edition. Came with this postcard as well, I can show you. Pretty nice. Snowball Games, how are you doing, my friend? Great to see you. Here's the postcard it came with. Collector's Welcome from Strictly Limited Games. Pretty cool. Good to have that with it. And we're going to be opening up this box right here, which has the game inside, which we'll be playing later as well. Nice looking box. Good size, kind of like a big box PC game style box. How are you doing Snowball by the way? Welcome to the stream. And we're going to open this up as well and hopefully I won't need scissors for it. So I reckon I can get in here relatively easily. I'm going to try and break my way in on one of the seams. And if I can't get in, then I will use scissors because it'll just be easier. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and cheat right away and save myself the trouble because I did bring scissors just in case. Get into the box. Uh, you can call it cheating, but that's how I'm going to get into this. Then we can have a look at the contents inside this collector's edition. You doing good? No worries, my friend. Great to have you here, buddy. All right, break the seal on this thing so we can get into this. It's a good looking box. It looks like this top slides off. And of course I have, uh, I actually have my original from the Master System Wonder Boy Mega Cartridge with me as well. So we'll see how this looks. I mean, you can see the gameplay on the back of this thing. It is an older game with those 8-bit uh, graphics. We're going to see how they've made it look on this one. It'll be pretty good. So um, I guess, oh, I don't slide it open. It actually opens from the back right here, it looks like. I hope it does anyway. Alright, so it opens up like this, pretty cool, oh instantly, instantly it's filled with goodies. So inside of here we have a soundtrack CD and a pin badge, so I'll take out that pin badge and show you that. Look at this, that's pretty nice, Wonder Boy himself, that's pretty cool, I'm actually going to leave that in the plastic. Uh, it's not a pin badge actually, it's uh, a keychain, there you go. And we have a soundtrack in here as well. Let's take a look at that. Wonderboy soundtrack. Nice. Uh, 15 tracks on here. Pretty cool. Let's open this up. This I will open up because I, I will want to hear the music. That is something I want to hear. Uh, it looks like there's a seam for me to open it up on the side here. But again, if I can't get it open, I'm going to use the scissors <laughs> if I can't get it open. But it looks like I should be able to... Uh, tear along the seam and get it open that way, but uh, this is an uh, this is a live unboxing So this sort of thing happens. All right I'm just gonna cheat and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the scissors on it And that's how I'm gonna get it open from one of the sides here. Just gonna Give it some of the scissor action <laughs> Some, some scissor <laughs> And I'll open it that way. There we go. Nice. There we go and Now I have this thing opened up so we can get a look at the soundtrack for Wonder Boy Returns. Uh, almost, there we go. Hey, so there's the front cover without any glare on it, or less glare I should say from the plastic wrap. Nice looking artwork, like the outside box. There's 15 tracks on the back of the disc. Pretty cool. That's a lot of good music. Let's have a look inside of here. Oh, I hope it's going to cooperate with me and open up. Yep. Alright, and this. Live, everybody. Uh, <laughs> there is the disc for Wonder Boy Returns, the soundtrack. The, uh, the front of it came off. I think it didn't come off for any particular reason. I just think it did. So there's that. But I have the soundtrack. That's just going to clip back on there, I'm pretty sure. Without, yeah. Just, just opened up at an odd angle, but yeah, well, I'm going to fix that later. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like it's broken, it looks like I can put it back together fine. And that's the soundtrack for you. We have something else in here as well inside the box. 
This is a bag. And uh, this is pretty cool. You want to take around your shopping in. Oh, this looks lovely. A classic gaming bag. The Wonder Boy bag there. That looks pretty nice. Kind of looks like a t shirt from the angle I'm showing it, but it is a bag. It has handles. Uh, pretty cool. You can store all your collector's editions in there. Nice to have that. Looks like there's a book in here as well. Take that out. It is a sticker sheet. This is why I get I should have looked up the contents beforehand. It's a sticker sheet. There are some stickers here. You can put these on your car or whatever, or on your laptop. They look pretty nice actually. In there. A bunch of stickers with it. And lastly, we have the game itself. There you go. Pretty cool. There were some interesting extras in there with the um, with a sticker sheet and the bag. Those were pretty cool. And the um, the keychain is pretty cool. The standard for a collector's edition would normally be like a uh, art book, which is pretty cool. But you get some art there in the packaging. And you get um, you get the stick sheet as well, and you get the bag, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go open up the game for you right now. Uh, see if there's a manual in here, and see if the inlay is reversible. I did use the scissors again because I just thought it'd be easier. I really like this case though. This case looks pretty nice, kind of um, Master System style. That's pretty cool. Let's open that up, and I will fix the soundtrack. <laughs> Shane the Great Gamer, how are you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream. We're going to play this later on. Pretty soon actually, because we got through the unboxing pretty swiftly. Wonder Boy Returns, the PlayStation 4 from Strictly Limited Games. I'll show you the back of it as well. We have a, a number there on the back, which I don't know if you can see. There's the number of this copy. There's some gameplay and you can see a, a, a considerable difference between the uh, graphics on the back of this, of course, because it's PlayStation 4. Sean! <laughs> hey, Sean. My, my bad, my friend. Alright. And, uh, number 857 this is. So pretty good. I mean, I get things wrong all the time. And, uh, yep. Classic uh, arcade masterpiece, Wonder Boy Returns in high definition, it says here. A boy enjoys a day at the beach with his girlfriend, Tina, when suddenly a red devil appears out of nowhere and kidnaps her. Hold on, Tina! I will save you! Wonder Boy's new adventure is about to begin. So, I like the box. I like the box a lot. Very rem reminiscent of the original box from the Master System. And then, as you can see, if you want to compare graphics, there is quite a difference from the graphics of the old. We're going to see the graphics of the, of the new one up close and personal when we play it. There's going to be quite a difference there. Uh, let's open this up. And there is the uh, disc inside. No manual, that's fine. Um, I like the artwork on the disc. Pretty nice. Uh, I would have liked to have seen the inlay to be reversible. This game is real cute. It is! It's cool and it's cool to be playing it again. Alright, I'm going to pop this into the PlayStation 4. And we're going to get that going. See if it needs to install or anything. Alright, that's in there. See if that does need to do any installation or anything like that. I'm going to need to put on my headphones. And then we will switch over to some gameplay. The soundtrack is one of the coolest things about it, I think. I'm really excited about that. Alright. Copy the, uh, copy the data over real quick, and I don't think it's going to need to patch. So we can move over to the gameplay as soon as the game has loaded. Rolling Games, how are you doing? Wonder why punishes the player if they get a death. Send them all the way back to the central area. Ooh, uh, my, my goodness. <laughs> I'm a bad player as well. <laughs> One thing I want to see is if they've, um, if they've made the controls a bit easier, because this has... A lot more buttons than the original controller would have had. Uh, the Master System controller had uh, just two buttons. So on, on, the, on the Master System version, which I have actually played recently, uh, you would have one button to jump and then one button to throw your weapon. And you need to do both buttons at the same time to jump high. And I found that really awkward because half the time it wouldn't register it. 
and I have a black screen on my PlayStation 4. <laughs> so I don't know if it's still loading the game up, but uh, this is what happens when we're live. I'm gonna send us back to the main menu. I'm gonna close the application and I'm gonna restart the application and see if it wants to load. <laughs> All right. Excellent. All right. So how are you doing, Rolling Games? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Whilst that's whilst that's loading up, I might as well try and put the soundtrack case back together because I, I knocked the front of the case off while I was doing it and that's all right I got it back together nice oh. and it's, it's like kind of stiff to open it up it's kind of funny you're pretty awesome that's good to hear my friend oh. I wonder if it's still yeah see like it catches when I'm trying to open it <laughs> all right but that's fine that's fine uh, we also had, it's still on a black screen. I wonder why that is. Um, we also had the sticker sheet in there, which is pretty cool. And we had the bag. The bag was probably the coolest thing. This bag, classic. I like that. Hey, there we go. It started to play. All right. Okay. Right. So with that in mind, I'm going to go restart it and get to the gameplay. I wonder if it just stays on a black screen for a while. So it does play. <laughs> and we had the, the key ring as well. That was pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna bring us over to the uh, capture screen. It does, hey Juliana, how are you doing my friend? Welcome to the stream, thanks for hitting that like. All right, I'm gonna move us over to the, the capture screen. It stays on a black screen for a long time for some reason. So we're gonna see a black screen right now. But the game will load up eventually. <laughs> uh, I just uh, I want to show you guys any opening sequences that will be there. I haven't played through this game, uh, this version anyway yet. You're good. I'm doing great, Juliana. Thanks for asking. This is a this is a, a really cool game on the Master System. I'm excited to see what the PS4 version is going to be like. Uh, it will be interesting to play on the PS4 controller. I would like to see. Hey, there we go. Uh oh I see. There was a story there. Oh, and she's taken away. Just as it was written. That's interesting. Oh, and he cries. Is that really loud, guys? Because it looks like it was really loud to me. Oh, yeah, that's a cool title screen. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, and if it, if it wasn't too loud, just let me know, but I'm going to turn it down. This music rocks, though. There we go. Is that any better? Can you hear me? You want the Link's Awakening remake? So do I, my friend. I got uh, I got a copy of Link's Awakening DX from my good friend, the Jonin Monkey. But I turned it down a little bit, guys. If it's too quiet now, let me know. Uh, and if it's still too loud, of course, let me know as well. Um, I do appreciate feedback if the volume levels are uh, wrong, because they are often different on these games. All right, Wonder Boy returns. So let's check out the options real quick and see if I can do anything with the buttons. Oh, I can change the music levels as well and the sound effects, okay. And I can see the ending cartoon as well. Okay, so there are there are two buttons on it. That's a little disappointing. I was hoping that there would be an option to have a third button for the high jump, um, which would mean I wouldn't have to press both buttons at the same time, but that's fine. Uh, you can see the credits and the ending cartoon if you want as well, okay. Let's get into this then. And guys, don't forget to let me know if it's too loud. I'm gonna play it as I'm gonna play it as easy. Unless it's so loud you guys can't hear me, and that's why you're not telling me. <laughs> Alright, stage one. Let's do it. New boy. Oh, we can unlock classic boy and Tina. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. Play as 
you, boy. Oh, these graphics are really nice. All right. And of course, my energy will run out if I don't go and grab food as we go. Huh? Hard mode is called hell, lol. Huh? Get in with the axes. Let's grab that. So I have to keep moving. Oh, we got the skateboard. Nice. Oh, I missed something over there. I think that was uh, something I might have needed to grab. Oh, well. Huh? We're going to need to grab this food along the way or we'll run out of energy. Whoop. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Whoop. All right, I'm going to jump over the rock. Oh, that frog got me! <laughs> I didn't expect it to take two shots. Okay. Let's do this. Whoop. Give it to me. Alright, we got ourselves an axe. Whoop. You're thinking of one based on Adventure Island. Okay. Whoop. I ran right into a monster there. <laughs> Did I turn it down a, bit, a little bit? Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I was looking at the levels. Should I turn it down? I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. The levels, to me, they look high. So if it, if that's too low, then that's too low. But to me, the levels looked a little high. Uh, get him! All right, gonna gonna give this a good one. Uh, it could be just because my my headphone volume is quite high. Uh, but that's something I have on the PS4. Some of the games are much louder than others. Oh, I got him this time. And I think there's going to be boulders coming down here. I think there's going to be boulders coming down here. No, no boulders. Maybe it's because I'm playing it on easy. Huh. Fire. Huh. There wasn't really... Uh, oh. Huh. Alright, so I wanted to get that. that. I missed one of those earlier. Oh, no. I let him get me again. <laughs> All right, I will. I will explain. You know, I don't think it's. I don't think on easy. I don't. Oh, I have lives. I see. I have six lives. All right. I was gonna say it's given me way more lives than I'm used to having. I was gonna have an, an initial sort of test run of it, and then see how it went from there. But the graphics are really pleasing. And I'm forgetting to do the double jump. Nice. Okay. Okay. I have played the original recently to refresh my memory. It feels very different. There goes that B. But that's cool, this is Wonder Boy Returns. The graphics do look very nice. Oop, grab that. You've got to keep grabbing food or you're going to run out of energy. Oop, that would be bad. Alright. I like this music a lot. It was very loud though. Oop. Oh, I need to get that. Oh, and having that thing where I can't do the, the big jump, I don't know how I grab that. <laughs> I can't grab it, I'm gonna go to the goal. Hey, so we've got one doll. I'm fine with that, it's the first time playing it. Hey, Flying Crocodile, great to see you. No worries, thanks for being here, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, I can jump that high. See, this is a problem I had with the uh, pressing two buttons to jump. I always had a problem with that. Oh. Octopus. Uh, get it. Nice. All right. I like the music though. I'm great. Great to have a soundtrack with this. Uh. All right. Big jump. I right, forget that apple. <laughs> I gotta keep going. Uh. So what does this ham? Oh, okay. Just I was wondering what a hamburger did. It's just the same as everything else. Uh. Uh. I am playing it on easy as well, so it is going to be easier. Especially now I'm getting to grips with it. You're thinking of the dragon's trap? I have the dragon's trap actually. Pretty cool. I got uh, I got a version of that from Limited Run Games as well. It's a good game. All right, no, 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 no. <laughs> I moved too far forward. <laughs> we have lots of lives though. All right, go grab that burger. See, that's a different burger to the one we had previously. I think I can get those if I get enough of a leap. Like if I press up as well, I get a bit more of a, a bit more of a leap. It doesn't help to go when you jump, but it kind of feels like it does. <laughs> I got not slip off the uh, clouds this time. Nice. Okay. Grab those fries. It's getting all Joe and Mac here. 
Oh, I always hate those kind of things, those springs. I didn't commit to the jump. That's what happened there. Oh, I've got eight lives. I've got... How did I get more lives? Did I just get, like, score? I feel like this mode is very generous, but I did play it on easy. Blood Dragon, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Huh? Thanks for dropping that like, my friend. The more likes we have, the more people can see the stream. Oh, don't fall off the edge of this time. Huh? And great to see you, buddy. Huh? Nice. Are there sound levels all right, guys? Don't be afraid to tell me if, it's, if the music's too quiet. Oh, come on, I can't do that jump. <laughs> I keep committing to it too late. Alright, let's get up there. I think the music to this game might be very loud. But it could just be me. Alright. I just gotta commit to that jump. When I when I spring off of it, just go for it. No no hesitation needs to be taken during that maneuver. Oh, get the fries. Alright. Alright, just gonna bounce off them instantly. Yeah, just don't hesitate. That's how you do it. Alright, we didn't get uh, caught that time. Take that apple. Oop. My only complaint thus far is that there isn't an option because the PlayStation has so many more buttons, but they're not a bit. No! Ah! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen, and I just let it happen. <laughs> Could they not have allowed us to make another button, the high jump button? And then I would have more control over my jumps. Although the PlayStation 4 controller is in better condition than my Master System controller is. So it is registering my jumps easier. Oh no, I'm gonna do it again! I <laughs> got him this time. I didn't want to fall to that same mistake I fell to last time. Get the goblin as it comes at me coming at me fast. Alright, I'll have the ice cream. Or not. That's fine, I'll leave the ice cream. <laughs> I'll leave it behind. Alright, just... Yeah, go straight off of those. Don't hesitate. Alright, I think we're doing alright for the, the dolls on this one as well. I think you need to grab all of the dolls to get to the end stage. I think you do. Alright, yep. As soon as I hit those things, I need to jump off them. Hey, goal! Alright. Oh, I only got two out of this one. The game is cool. You should play and learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things, like, I, always, I, I, I figured I would die a lot in the early stages. I figured I would die a lot, but then that's how you learn where the stuff is. Get the bat! And I am playing it on easy right now, which it is easy. Alright, I can hit those ones up, I just need to, I think I need to press up while I jump. I'm holding the controller in a weird way as well. I do that when I'm trying to, when I'm playing like arcade style games. Grab the coupon. Our oh, vitality is pretty good. Oh, that was scary. Get it! Got it! Oh, I'll have that banana. Have a banana. Yeah, I've got lots of lives, but I am playing on easy. I, uh, I like the look of this though. Alright, we've got two of those. I like the animation style, it's very nice. Cake! Let them eat cake. And a burger. That's gonna make you sick. Alright, there's some coffee. I like coffee, I'm a man of coffee. Ooh, what is this? The Grim Reaper? Oh no 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 no! <laughs> what was I even jumping into? That was my bad. Alright. This will probably be the axe now. Alright, that's fine. Need to grab that food for vitality. Up past it. And then this will probably be the Reaper again. Last time I just jumped when there was nothing there. I was expecting a jump to come. Huh? Nice. Alright. And I'll jump over here. I think I'm just using the big jump for most things. Because I'm I'm terrified that I'm gonna miss a jump. Cake. I'm wondering 
Alright, do I have to take a leap of faith? Oh no, that's fine. Alright, that's free. I got the free on this one. I think I could go back and get the free. Well, it's a good thing that guy isn't coming after me. <laughs> Running out of vitality. I think I could go back and get the free on the first level if I wanted to as well. So I know where they are. Second level, I definitely miss one of the dolls. Okay, good good thing it uh, gave me a look down as well. Alright, goal! Nice. Have we got all three that time? That's pretty good going. Next stage. Alright, we're back on the greenery. Hey, there's an axe. Hey, oh, the Reaper's bad, it decreased my health. I see, I see, I see. So just running into that snail. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I, I knew that. I knew if I found a. F oh my good. Did I miss an egg? Oh my goodness. I missed the egg. <laughs> um, I knew that if I found a fairy, it would make me invulnerable for a certain amount of time. I was not familiar with a reaper. Uh, I can't believe I missed that egg. Oh, there's a. Uh, hey, there's an egg. All right. There we go. There's our axe. Nice. I thought my health was decreasing faster than normal. Good, good call. No, don't miss it. Right, we got it this time. Good call, Rod. Mush? I don't know what that does. <laughs> Half of these upgrades, I don't know what they do. But I also don't have the manual for the Master System one as well. <laughs> That's another thing I don't have. Alright, what is it? Hey, there we go, there's a fairy. This will make me invincible for a little amount of time. I'll still die by falling off things. But I think I can walk through this guy, yeah. It's like the, uh... It's like the mushroom on Mario. Alright. This seems very familiar to stage one. Oh! There's that, uh... The doll. Alright, and past another checkpoint. Nice. The graphics for this are definitely very pleasing. Alright, I'll grab that. It just adds a little bit to the platforming on stage 1 4. Nice, okay, we got it, we got it. Hey! Alright, kill the beat. Boss. Oh, first boss. Oop. Milk! All right, let's do it. Come at me. <laughs> so I guess we're saving. Oh my goodness. I guess we're saving that creature. Oh no, we're attacking it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know the tactics. You don't jump on its head, that's what you don't do. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to seduce it. All right. Give me the weapon, because I'm definitely going to need that. Let's do it. And the milk will keep my vitality good during the boss fight. So, how do I fight this boss? <laughs> this guy does that. The devil who took Tina. And I guess we need to... Keep oh, okay, we can attack her while she's reeling back. Got her. Oh, I jumped into that. Alright, I see what I need to do. I see what I need to do. Be better for one thing. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Grab the axe. Get the milk. I think I need to stay closer as well so that she doesn't have the distance on me. What would you say that is? Is that a snake? Mr. Q, how are you doing, my friend? Oh, no, 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 no! Alright. Alright, yeah, if I stay close, I'm better off. There we go. And there goes the boss. Nice, and we got all three dolls. For a Balarang! Then cast fire! <laughs> I know, right? Alright, stage two. Nice. Part one of stage two. How are you doing, Mr. Q? Thanks for joining, my friend. Hey, alright, those are gonna hurt me, so I'm, yeah. <laughs> Oop. It was suspicious. Oh, a doll! I need that! 
There we go. I'm doing fine, thanks for asking, my friend. First time I've done a live unboxing. It's pretty fun. Oh, doing more gameplay than I would do for a regular unboxing. Then again, less polished gameplay as well, because I haven't played this this particular version before. Oh, can't land on the rock, that's bad. I will take all of the snacks along the way to keep my vitality up. I see you lurking, Snowball. Much appreciated, my friend. That monkey's gonna throw a banana at us. Take him out. There we go. How dare he. Ooh, turkey. And a second doll. Hey, that makes us invincible. Nice. We can run past these goblins now without any fear. Well, still quite a bit of fear. Fear of these platforms might drop me. If I'm not careful. That was a cool boss fight as well. Have we had all three of the uh, dolls? I'm not sure. Alright. Just keep going always forward. Because if we if we pause for a moment, we will lose vitality. Oop. And I am playing this on easy as well. But that's uh, one of the advents of this version, I guess. I know now to be less um, hesitant on those springs as well. Oop. Hey, go! This it looks like a new version of Adventure Island. It's like, it's like a re remake of um, Wonder Boy, which is pretty cool, called Wonder Boy Returns. I saw this come out and I, I knew I had to pick it up because Wonder Boy is such a great arcade game. A good game on the Master System as well. Get the bats. I knew I had to pick it up. And so far I'm enjoying this. The controls feel more responsive than they were on my Master System version. But that's because I always had trouble getting the high jump off on the Master System version. I always had trouble pressing both of the buttons at the same time. Could have been my controller. Uh, nice. Because this uh, PS4 controller is brand new. Uh, get him! There we go. Nice. I like the music a lot. I haven't tried to see if there's any in-game options. That's the thing, actually. Just, uh, okay, you can't switch to the original music. Oh well. Oop. On some of the others, you could switch back to the original graphics and the original music. What I'd check. Oop. Get it? Nice. But certainly they've updated the visuals a, a lot. Oop. Not that I think the old game looked bad in any way. Alright march on to the next boss that we have to fight. These checkpoints make it handy to get back to areas I've been to as well. Now we've got a lot of lives. Oh no! <laughs> Except when I drop myself off an edge by my own volition. There we go, we start checkpoint 4, that's fine. Hey, there we go. Oh, I'm going to leave the cake. Just, the cake is a lie, leave it. There we go. Whee! One less life, I know, right? Oh, I need that! No! <laughs> In fairness, I need to die, though. I need to get that. That's interesting. Some of them, you have to be in the right place to grab them. It's pie, okay. I thought it was cake. <laughs> Alright, so I need to remember where I need to be to grab that. That is important. I think it's going to be... Wherever I was. It was here, right? Interesting. Or maybe it was somewhere else. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't reappear? It only appeared once? Oh man, I only got one of the dolls that time around. Oh well. Ooh, let's kick some ice! Alright, what is that? Axe? What about this one? Oh, skateboard! Okay, okay. Whee! It feels perilous to skateboard on ice. But there you go, that's what we're doing. Oh, my jumps are not good. Okay, that was probably for the best. Because that skateboard would have wrecked us. Alright. Grab all of the food. How do you like them bananas? Very much, actually. 
Alright. The rock is bad. You don't want to bump into that. Alright, gotta be careful. In case I slip on the ice. Alright, it feels like there's a, a lot less enemies on the easy. Because I remember the first stage on the master system, there were definitely rolling boulders. And I didn't. Oh, there's some falling ice. And I didn't encounter them this time round. But I did make the decision to play on easy to familiarize myself with the stages. So that's a thing. And then we can see more of the game like this. Oop. Nice. Like the old Adventure Island. For the NES and SNES. Same food and weapons going on. That's cool. Oop. Just about made that. Oop. Anytime I see a game on the NES, I pick it up these days, as long as it's fairly reasonably priced. Because the NES was not localised well over here, so games are a lot harder to come by in the UK. Especially where I'm at, <laughs> in the southwest. Oh. Nice. Oh, what am I doing? Just walking off the edge. Alright, let's do this. I think my only complaint about the game so far would be that there's you can't make the jump button a third button, the high jump button a third button. And also, when I loaded it up, there was a, a black screen for a long time. I'm not sure what that was all about. That was just a bit weird. Oh, got him. And I think I would like it. It's asking a bit much, but I would like an option to have. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Like an option to have the original music and uh, and animation as well. That would have been cool. Plus the skateboard. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get hold of a copy of that game, Adventure Island. It makes me want to play it. Nice. But what I do like is that this game looks really good. The soundtrack, reimagined as it is, is very good. It plays as great as ever. Oh no! How am I gonna get that? Ow! Okay, took my vitality, that's fine. <laughs> I needed that doll. I'm pretty sure, unless you don't have to on easy, but I'm pretty sure you have to grab the dolls to get to the, uh, the end stage. Like that? Oh no. I hope that still counts as me grabbing it. <laughs> Alright. I hope that still counts, because I've got a lot of lives, so it won't matter if I throw away a life. But I need the dolls. I guess it'll depend if it reappears again, because it... Ah, oh, okay, we got it this time. <laughs> because last time, when I missed one, it didn't reappear. Oh, no, no, no. We slipped up. Slipped up from the clouds and in the water. Alright. That's fine. And if you guys want to see some video game pickups at the end of this, I can go over some pickups. I picked some stuff up recently. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> the doll that I needed to grab. Nice. I want to commit to the high jumps more, really, to get past these. Grab the turkey or the chicken. Nice. This music is really nice. Oh. The game's very intensive on your concentration, though. <laughs> Makes it harder to read the chat. Oh my goodness! Right into a swordfish. Alright, we've got another, uh, got another save point, though. Running through the lives now. Oh. And this is a boss level, I think, as well. Or is it? I can't remember. Oh, oh I did the same thing! <laughs> I ran into the same enemy! This time I'm gonna wait for him. I remember where he is. Like, give me the, give me the axe or the hatchet. I guess we're gonna bury the hatchet on that enemy when I see him. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be a bit more patient. There we go. Nice, got it this time. And that's the third doll I think that we needed to grab. I'm watching out for another one of those swordfish in case they come up against me. Oh, take down the goblins. All right. 
fourth section. Get the prize. Cross the clouds to our destination. Oh, well, I did not need to jump. <laughs> Do you ever get that when you're playing a platformer and you just anticipate a jump that's not there? Alright, let's grab that. Hatchet. Axe, I should say. Oop. I've got axe to grind. And it's getting to the end of the stage. Oop. No worries, Mr. Q. Thanks for being here, buddy. Ooh, coffee. I like coffee. Alright, boss, okay, yeah, I thought we were on a boss stage. Oop, commit to these jumps. There's the milk. Oh no! <laughs> Some sort of o giant octopus. Are they made evil by the devil? I guess they are. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Straight away. Okay, okay, okay. Two more attempts at this boss. Oop see how we deal with them. So I, maybe I need to be in the middle. Let me see. I'm gonna make this octopus evil. And then... Wait, can I get the arms when they're down? They, I can, okay. Get them. Alright, so if I stand in the middle, am I safe? No, I'm not safe. But they're gonna come down. Alright. Uh. Get it. I think that's it. Oh, I feel bad. It's crying. Nice. We got the boss. That was pretty cool. Stage 3. Oh my goodness. Are we in hell? <laughs> but we have to rescue Tina, right? I do not have a weapon at this point. And it's giving me 10 lives again. Pretty generous. Oh. Nice. The music here is really good. Kill that spider. That's where spiders come from. Hell. Well, this volcanic crater we find ourselves in. Nice. Okay, good. I was thinking, is there a very high jump I'm missing here? It's pretty badass. Alright, let's jump. Got it! Hey, we got the doll as well. I'm not sure if we will need all of the dolls to get to the final stage. But we shall see. Get him. Oh, I just walked right into him. I thought you would take more hits than that. Less hits, I should say. Give me the axe. I've got an axe to grind on this level. I'm definitely feeling the controls are more responsive than I'm used to for this particular game. On the version that I played, I should say. I like the music a lot. Oh, what am I doing? Tripping over the rock. Caught me tripping. I think the food has been less sparse on this level as well. I should say more sparse. <laughs> the food has been sparse. Get him! There we go. I need to keep it going to keep my vitality up. Or we're gonna have a game over. Wonder Boy is a hungry boy. Oh my goodness, I just stepped onto lava. That's how you get burned. Huh? I will take that. Cross these platforms. If I can be a bit faster than last time as well, it will benefit me on my way. Which will be good. Alright, gotta commit to those jumps on those immediately. Oh no! Alright, just about got it. I thought we were screwed there. That was uh, another one of those dolls you have to grab. Oh my goodness, I jumped into that. That was my fault. I jumped into it. Alright, let's get it. I think I'm just mostly going for the high jump almost every time. Nice, I'll take that. You can time those pretty well, as long as you don't jump into them like I did previously. Alright. I think there was another one along here. Along the uh, springs. Oh, oh, no, okay. We actually got past where I was, and we got all three dolls on that level. Pretty good going. Stage, I should say.
Oh, that a change of theme. Let's hope this isn't snow good for our heroes. Oh, it's a penguin! Is it Prinny? Oh, I got us. Prinny bomb? <laughs> We're being attacked by? Alright. So, avoid the penguin sliding. You have actually a little bit of time before they start sliding. You could do with the axe, yeah, that will help. Nice. I dig this music. It's cool. I need that. There we go. Get the penguins. I feel so bad for throwing axes at penguins. I feel so bad. It feels cool. Have all of the food that we can. Alright, what is that? Skateboard? I oh, will take that. No, no, oh no, I can't go back on the skateboard. Ugh. That's frustrating. Can I go back now? No. Oh darn it. We missed uh, we missed one of the uh, We missed one of the Oh it's burned snowballs at me. I missed one of the dolls there. The skateboard prevented me from getting it, funnily enough. It, it would as cool as it would have been to ride down a snowy hill on a skateboard. It was not fortuitous for us right there. Oh no, the Reaper is not good. Yeah, we are losing our vitality a lot faster. Keep up with the food if we can. There's another doll. I need it. Hopefully the Reaper leaves me alone. Alright, he does eventually, but I'm going to run out of food very fast. If okay, doesn't matter. We got got by, I think, a seagull there. <laughs> My natural enemies. The seagulls. I hate seagulls, they did damage to my roof, which caused water damage to my game collection. Oh my goodness, he got me with a snowball. We're not here to have a snowball fight, Mr. Snowman. We're here to save Tina from the evil clutches of a devil. Alright, got him. I just need to stay out of the line of fire, so I actually kind of want to get close to, to the... Uh, yeah, if I'm closer to those snowmen, they can't hurt me. Their attacks will be snow good. You might say. Oh, and there's the goal. Nice. We missed one of them because of the skateboard. Alright, stage three. Part three. Yep. Nice. I'm digging the uh, variation. Oh, you know what? I keep thinking that I have the axe whenever, even when I don't. <laughs> I keep going for it. Alright. Grab it. Yeah, I just have to get over him and grab the axe afterwards. Nice. As these goblins attack me, I will take this food. I assume those are goblins, they are green. Alright. Take the cake. And progress through the stage. There's a skateboard again. Not, not the biggest fan of the skateboard. I actually don't know what the uh, don't know what the mushroom does. Oh, oh we need that. Nice. Oh. All right. Walk through the fire. As Wonder Boy will go through the fire and the flames to rescue Tina. As he's doing currently. All right. Nice. Should probably kill these goblins. Oh, I walked, jumped right into him. I was gonna say walked into him, but I jumped into him. Foolish. I could have just gone past him. That naughty monkey. Oh. Rascal that he is. Oh. All right, kill the goblins. I'm just not gonna fight the monkey. That looks like a bed. Oh, how do I get that? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> I need to figure out a way to get that. It's clearly a trap, but I need it. That's the doll. I think I need to like end my jump by it. Alright, kill the goblins. I'm not going to bother about him. Ugh. Can I get close to it and not set it off? No, if I'm like, right, if I'm just next to it, I set it off. 
beautiful, okay. Alright. Grab the axe. If I can't get it this time, I'll have to go past it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a situation where I need to end my jump going through it. Leave this guy alone. Hey, okay, you can start your jump into it. That works, okay. That was not so bad. What is this? Ooh! Fairy! We're invincible! See, now I could grab something like that and it wouldn't bother me. Just walk into that monkey like I did earlier, but this time it's not a bad thing. Alright. And there's the goal! Alright, on to the next stage. Blasting through these. Okay. Oh, gonna have to jump over that. Don't have my uh, weapon yet. There it is. Oh. Nice. Okay. Alright. Ooh, nice waterfall. Pretty badass. Water effects in 3D. Got the chicken or turkey or whatever it is. Pass this to Guys, love games. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Wonder Boy and getting killed by a frog. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? On stage three, part four. Nice. All right. You missed out on getting a physical copy of this. Oh, it's a shame, man. It's, it's really fun. Uh. All right. Uh. An arcade classic reimagined. Uh. Ah, that's what that does. I was wondering why that was. Uh, I was wondering why that was there. That uh, spring puts a spring in my step. To make my way out of here with all of those dolls in hand. Right. All right. I see what's happening here. It's gonna try and f make me fall to my death. Nice. Go these things. Flaming skulls. Skateboard. Why not? We're playing a bit of Tony Hawk's now. <laughs> Wonder Boy and Tony Hawk land. Huh. All right. Another name is Skull. If I can hit it at the right angle, that is. Or oh, I'm just gonna go under it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, boss. You've got the classic on Master System. But nothing beats the old arcade. Indeed, the arcade versions are the best. I've got the Master System one as well. Oh! I can't bear to fight this boss! Oh no! I don't know the tactics for this one yet. Okay. Right, he just kills you. <laughs> the uh, Master is the one I have right here, actually. I was showing it earlier. The new cover art for the uh, Collector's Edition one is pretty badass. It mirrors that. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. Alright, anyway, my vitality is running down. Let me, let me go ahead and kill this boss. <laughs> or attempt to. I've got to find out where he's vulnerable. Alright. I imagine it's going to be when he attacks. All right. Okay, he was vulnerable during the attack, but it also killed me. <laughs> another thing I another thing I should mention is this has analog stick control as well. I've been using the D-pad, and I will continue to use the D-pad, <laughs> but it does have analog stick control or thumbstick, I should say, I guess. All right. So I, I think I just have to kill this guy before he gets to me, right? Oh man, did you run out of space? I wonder if I can jump over his head. Maybe that's how I'm going to defeat him. How many lives have I got left? Loads of lives, that's fine. So I wonder if I can jump over his head when he attacks, and then get some more distance. Try that. So I'm going to let him attack, and then let him attack twice. No, oh, okay, so he's going to step back. Oh, I should have been more patient. So after he comes forward, he's going to step back. That's fine. So that's that's how we're going to get him. So wait, if I just go to the far end, I am completely safe. 
Like, if I'm here, am I just completely safe from him? Alright. Yeah, so if I stay here, yeah, I'm safe, right? Oh, I can't hit him, though. Okay, I need to be closer to hit him. Oh, I got him. He's pretty savage, he is indeed. Nice. That's that one down. Ooh, I like the music here. Nice. What a fun time we're gonna have in the water. Is this gonna be skateboard? Yeah, it's skateboard. Oh, no! This is why I don't like the skateboard, I can't go back! <laughs> Damn it! I needed that! Alright. Yeah, maybe I should get myself killed. Yeah, I'm gonna get myself killed and not take the skateboard. Thanks for the GG, my friend. I, I'm gonna not take the skateboard, and then we can grab that uh, that doll. But I don't think the skateboard helps me out. There we go, nice. All right, grab that. Grab the ice cream. You scream. Ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Oop. There goes that creature. Ah. Here come the octopus! Nice. Alright, good going. I'll take that. And what are those? Got it. What an crustacean was that? Alright, I will take that. I will be invincible. That is good. With a fairy on my side. I'll just walk into these fish when I've got the fairy. Not seeing the other dolls yet, though. Then again, they could be anywhere. Uh. Alright. On one of these, they were... Oh my goodness. On one of them, they were on one of the platforms. And I managed to miss it. Alright, on the third checkpoint of this stage. I'll take that axe. I've got an axe to grind. I've used that one before. Uh. Nice. Alright, made it top this time. Nice! And I skewered myself. I saw it coming, but I'd already committed to the jump. Alright, let's do it. I think easy gives you 10 lives for each, uh, each stage, which is pretty crazy. That's a lot of, that's a lot of lives. That's a lot of lives it gives you! Hey, okay, this time don't skewer myself. I will take that ice cream. Nice. Alright. And the stage. Well, to the fourth checkpoint. But to the la to the last start. The last what am I saying? The latter part of this stage. Alright, avoid the rock. This isn't hard rock. Ah, there's another doll. I'll take that. Nice. I'll grab the hamburger and the fries and pass through the goal. Hey, good going. So my main, my main thought is uh, on this difficulty. Do I need to go back and grab the other dolls? That is what I'm not sure about. Think that. This is probably going to be skateboard. I don't know how I feel about the skateboard. It makes you less, uh, less maneuverable. <laughs> you can't, uh, you can't head back. It does give you an extra hit though. That you can take. Oop. Yeah, trick styles! Tony Hawk will be proud. This is very relaxed music for some skateboarding as well. Got it. Oh, okay. That's fine. I do not like using the skateboard. <laughs> so I am fine with falling off it. Alright. Give me that axe. And now I can control my jumps a lot better as well and grab these bananas that I missed. Get that octopus. I will take that carrot. Unless it's a trap, unless it is the proverbial carrot on a stick being downward in front of me. Almost jumped myself off the cloud then, I've done that before. I just think I need to jump somewhere, but I don't. I will take those bananas. How do I like them bananas? I've done that one as well. Alright. Let me see here. Jump here. 
This is way further than I've got in the uh, original game. Most likely because of the uh, ease of this difficulty mode, which is cool. Makes it accessible for everybody. Alright. And you have some other difficulty options available to you as well. Oh man, I've got to get that. I'm glad it still counted the uh, springs being there when I came back down. Alright. Oh my goodness. Didn't get that guy, but I still got past him. And there's the goal. Nice. Two out of three ain't bad, but it ain't all of them. Alright. Do it. Give me that axe. Now my arm feels complete again. Oh. The ceiling's coming down on us. And the bats have come into attack. Where's Batman when you need him? It's interesting that there is a uh, a strawberry down there. I think it would be very hard to get it where it is. Oh, I wonder if there is an extra area I could have got to. Or perhaps we might return that way. Oh. Some of those dolls may be hidden. Not that frog. Oh. I would take that carrot. Alright. And get over to here. Nice platforming action. Oh, I almost skewered myself in the ceiling there. Good going on my part. And I will take this fries. Excellent, excellent. Alright. Doing pretty good. On to the fourth area. Okay, ice cream! How do you guys feel about ice cream? Hurts my teeth. <laughs> nice. Okay, springs. With a spring in my step, I will make it to the next stage. Next area. Next platform, I should say. Well, hopefully next stage, next area. Uh, uh, speak of the devil. We got to the goal. Only one... Only one doll though, I suspect there were some more hidden that I would have. I think the uh, the strawberry being down on one of the platforms was an indication that I needed to go to more places than I went to. Oh. Oh. They had been devilishly hidden and not the... Oh my goodness, almost missed that. <laughs> not the devil you know either, but the devil that probably took Tina. Oh. I don't know why I left that fruit there. You gotta eat your fruit and vegetables. Especially to make it through Wonder Woman. Oh. And there's another one. Hey. Alright. The slippery slope when you become an adventurer. But we shan't stay frozen for long. We're gonna get through this. And save Tina! And it, it was pretty cool that you can unlock the original. Actually, I wonder if you play as the original uh, Wonder Boy, if you unlock that character. Does it also play the game in the retro graphics, the 8 graphics? That would be pretty badass. You can also unlock Tina as a character as well. So that would be pretty cool. Alright, fourth area. Excellent. And what is this? It is the fairy that will protect me from any enemies that might come across. I just I can just walk straight into these guys like that. I need to grab that. That is another doll. Whilst the fairy is in effect. Boss, okay. Let's do it. Grab the milk. <gasps> it's a polar bear! Oh my goodness. I have no idea how to fight this guy. Alright. Oh, he works a similar way to the last guy. Oh my goodness. Alright, wow. Okay. If he does that, I need to be close to him, I think. Let's do it. Take the axe, that will be helpful. Oh, and I die on the spring. 
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give him an easy one, make it more of a challenge, I guess. Yep. There you go. All right. So I think I need to be closer to him when he does his uh, ability. All right, get away from him. And now I want to get close to him. No, they come in randomly. All right, so I just have to dodge them. All right, that's gonna be tough because they come down really quickly. All right. But I think I'm safe here. If I can dodge that volley, I think I'm good. Alright, he's gonna come in again. Alright, this bit, I'm... Oh, I can see them above, I see. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna hit it. Just about dodged it, and he's down. Take that, cuddly bear. He couldn't bear it any longer. Alright, stage 5. Pretty good going thus far. Alright, take that. Skateboard. Don't know how I feel about the skateboard. But it's so cool! And as you can see, Wonder Boy is responsible. He is wearing his safety helmet and knee pads. He's not irresponsible. Ah, oh, I can't do the high jumps on the uh, skateboard. <laughs> I can't grab that. I need that. I have a little fairy and a skateboard. Oh, now I can do the high jumps when I don't need to use them. Oh my goodness. The skateboard screwed me over there. <laughs> Alright, and we can't grab all the fairies on this stage now. There is no... what am I meaning to say? All of the uh, dolls. That's fine, we grabbed a lot. We might not... It's slippery! And the wind is pushing me! Darn it! Alright. Have another go at that one. Grab this. Alright. That comes towards me. Alright. I don't think the wind is actually pushing me. <laughs> I think I just anticipate that it does, and it doesn't. But you do have to sort of anticipate these jumps, though. Nice, okay. Made it through that. Hopefully there's going to be another save point, yep. Yeah. Music's pretty funny. Kill the penguins. Sorry, penguins! I know you're cute. Alright, and grab that hamburger. That's that stage. Okay, stage 5, 2. I will take my weapon. Finally, my arm is complete. Oh, I thought that was a weapon I could pick up. <laughs> that shows me. That is a non-friendly crossbow. I'll grab that. Build a flaming skull. Oh my! Oh, I can't kill the crossbow. <laughs> it's one of those unkillable crossbows. Still firing and unkillable. All right. I think I just need to not let that crossbow distract me. And just avoid it. Yep. I will we'll see it as another trap. Right, got the flame of skull. And that one as well. I'm worried about icicles from the ceiling. They're talking about objects from the ceiling. No, let me grab it! <laughs> There's a doll there and I can't get it. Ugh. And the icicles do fall down from the ceiling. How unfortuitous. I will grab these strawberries and that carrot. Oh, I can't land on those. That's actually fine because if it takes me back to um, a point where I can grab that. Oh, but then I think we missed one on the skateboard. If that was this stage or not, my memory is that bad. Terrible short term memory. Was that where it was? Oh, but yeah, sometimes they only appear one time as well. Ow, tripped up. There's another one. 
even though I don't. Grab it, okay, there we go. It's not it's not like my long-term memory is the only thing that's bad. My short-term memory rather. But my long-term memory is bad. Alright. There we go. What is that? Oh, it's a Reaper! I did not want that. I could have told that from the egg that it was different. It was foolish. Gotta grab all of the fruit. Alright. We made it through that though. We made it through the Reaper's assault. And I just jumped into a bat. I must be batty to do such a thing. Alright. Grab that weapon. Don't grab that, because that's the Reaper. And we don't want our soul to be taken. Because we're going to need our heart and soul to get through the challenges ahead of us. <laughs> I thought he was going to get me again. The same bat. Oh. Grab it. Alright, there's a checkpoint. There's like statues of dogs in the background. It's kind of funny. And these are going to come down on me. Snowman! Snowman anymore. He is in the rear view mirror. Well, melted I should really say, because we destroyed him. Hey, and there's the goal. Nice. Good going. And we got all of them, so one of them must have reappeared in a different place, one of the dolls. Alright. Give it! Nice. Go the snails. We shan't be doing this at a snail's pace. I think we're making pretty good time. Get the spider. I hate spiders. They make webs in my game shelves and poop on my games. I got all of the vitality I need right now. I could do with some of those doll locations being revealed. Nice. All of the snails are gone. Oh, nice try, guy from behind me. And I'm not going to grab that. I know that's a reaper. Alright. I haven't seen a single doll yet. Then again, they could be in uh, different places. We could pass the third checkpoint. Double fire. Just bring in my step. I think I might have just grabbed a doll there. I'm not sure. Oh, oh. You know I was saying that some of these levels had the uh, boulders coming down? There they are. <laughs> I thought the first stage would have had it, but it should—it probably does on other difficulties. Oh, oh. oh, I need to go back and get that. There we go. Alright, here come the boulders. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, we can do this. Oh. That gives you an idea of how much harder the uh, first stage would have been with the boulders. Uh. Alright, I just need to jump over them. Oh my goodness, I was thinking I needed to be closer when I did the jump. Try it again. Uh. Alright, we can do this. Alright. I jumped way too soon. Because <laughs> I jumped too late the last time. Alright, let's try it. This is actually where the skateboard would be good. We're well, not on the springs. Certainly not on the springs. <laughs> Alright. Oh my goodness! Where am I jumping on that second jump? Not in the right place, that's for sure. Too late or too soon. Oh my goodness! I can do it with the springs to get me past them. Alright, so on that one I jump. Oh my goodness! Where am I jumping wrong? Is it too late or too soon? Did I just be jumping straight up? Is that better? I'm going to try jumping straight up against that next one instead of forward. This one's not so bad. I jumped roundabout where the carrot is. Oh my goodness! What am I doing wrong on that second jump? I'm not jumping in the right place. And it's savagely taking my lives. <laughs> All 
fine. Where the carrot is. Ah, oh, bef before the apple? I guess before the apple. Alright, let's grab that. That's what I'm struggling on, no doubt. Where the carrot. Oh, and that time I didn't get it. <laughs> Hey Nightcore, how are you doing my friend? Oh I need I need help. <laughs> I can't uh, I can't get this jump. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's get over here. Alright, before the carrot and bef oh before the okay. There we go, finally. Give me a checkpoint. Before the uh, fruit is where you jump. I was jumping at or after. That took up I'm on one life. <laughs> oh no. Is it. Can you go down to zero lives or is that game over? Alright. The Batman DLC? No, no! Oh my goodness. No! Give me a continue or something. Oh boy. Hey, we unlocked Tina. Nice. We could go in. Matter of family. Alright, so, there's a sixth stage as well, and there's a seventh stage. We got pretty far into it before we died, and we locked Tina. There's an eighth stage as well. Loads of stages. Stage nine, there's a ton of stages. This is pretty cool. No, I think it's part of the, um, I think it's part of the paid DLC, A Matter of Family. Alright. I would advise getting the season pass. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Yeah, I will leave the lobby. Nice, I had the Game of the Year edition, so I had all of the uh, content with that. So guys, that was Wonderboy Returns on the PlayStation 4. That was pretty badass. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to the full webcam. Alright. So, last thing I want to show you guys is, as I turn off the screen so it doesn't put any glare, uh, I got some video game pickups. So, I'll show you them now. I've got them from various places. I meant to show you them previously, but I was under the weather previously. I picked up some stuff. <laughs> good luck, Nightcore. Um, good luck, my friend. Um, I have uh, grabbed some games whilst I was out, and I meant to show you them earlier, but I was under the weather, so I missed a couple of days streaming. And, um, I ended up putting them away, so I'll show you them now. Uh, this first one I picked up from Biggie's Games and DVDs, it's a place I go to many a time, and it's pretty good. Uh, and they always cut me a good deal, I, I never go in there asking for a good deal, they cut me a good deal, and they let me see, um, their eBay stock as well, um, you know, they let me see all the stuff I need to ask, it's pretty good. And it is, uh, Lemmings for the PSP. Uh, a game I have a big connection to, I used to play this on the Amiga, tons back in the day. This was £4, I saw it and I knew I had to have it. I actually saw this when I was leaving uh, the shop. I went ahead and I got um, some game chasing, game hunting footage for, um, for a video I'll be doing down the line. And I don't believe I got this on uh, camera because I just saw it as I was leaving. Um, but yeah, pretty cool to get this Lemmings. Played this back in the day and this does say it has uh, extra levels. And extra content, which is pretty cool. Love me some lemmings, even if it's not focusing. There you go. There's no, um, there's no manual in here, but the uh, UMD is in there, which is pretty cool. Trevor, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Um, you're just in time for some pickups. I'm going over some video game pickups at the end. And uh, another game I picked up. They, this, these were mostly. I think these are all in St. Austell. Yeah, these are all in St. Austell. Um, and this one I got in Retro Replay in St. Austell. And this is a PlayStation 2 game. And it is a Legion of Excalibur. Now, you're good. That's good to hear, my friend. Awesome. And this, this doesn't look like a great game, to be honest. But I hadn't heard about it. It looks like a hack and slash. Legion, the Legend of Excalibur. I don't know anything about this game. Um, it was not in great condition when I found it. See, from the back there, it looks like a sort of RPG, maybe hack and slash. 
Um, the webcam doesn't focus in. How much is the season pass for Arkham Knight? I don't know how much the season pass is. It because uh, I got it on the Game of the Year edition. I I didn't pay for it, but you you'll find it on the uh, on the on the store on the PlayStation or the Xbox store. Hey Ali, welcome to stream, my friend. Thanks for hitting those buttons, my friend. I can't imagine it's very much for the season pass for um season pass for Arkham Knight, but I know it does come with a bunch of extra content. It's pretty cool. Uh, disc and the manual are in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, there was also another disc in this when I got it. I had to change the case because it came with the wrong case. It came with like one of those double CD cases. And the other CD in there was Eternal Quest. Um, which is a game I already own on the PS2. Which is not a good game as well. So it doesn't give me a lot of hope for this. How are you doing Ali? This is 20, 20 bucks. Yeah. Online content. Um, I... It bugged me at the time. It bugged me at the time when I got the um when when I got the game of the year edition and it came with a code for the season pass. Um it it bugged me that it wasn't on the disc that I had to download it. Do I have Castlevania Symphony of the Night on PS1? I do not. Um I have Castlevania Bloodlines um or or in in our region it's called the new the new breed I want to say. I picked it up recently. <laughs> it's just over there. Uh, on the Mega Drive. I have not finished the Riddler puzzles, Nightcore. I haven't got through all the Riddler puzzles. <laughs> I, I don't think I got through all the Riddler pu puzzle. I don't think I got through all of the Riddler puzzles, I can speak, um, on any of them, actually. Hey, Jonan, welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, I know, I mean, I, I want that Castlevania Alley. It's just, the Castlevania games are super expensive. I've got one on the PSP. The next game I got is a collection of games. It is... Sega Classics Collection, Unforgettable Gaming History. You found codes you didn't know you had in the case. That's a thing, actually, because um, other versions of it came with extra extra content, like extra add-ons. That's the same case with the previous games as well on the Batman Arkham series. And um, I, I've got alternate versions because I the Arkham games I love so much that I did collect uh, variants. And I got a variant, like a Robin edition of one of the previous games, which comes with like Cat... With, I think it was Arkham City. It's, it is Arkham City. And it comes with Robin DLC and uh, Catwoman DLC, which is really cool. Uh, this is an unusual collection of games. Again, this came in a bad case. I got this from CEX. And only, only the, the game disc is in here. I got this from CEX. And this is an interesting collection of games. I'm the best. Well, thank you, Ali. Much appreciated, my friend. You guys are the best. You guys are really the best. And there we have some gameplay. If it will focus in on it, which it's not doing. But um, as you can see, these aren't the original games. These are in 3D. And uh, Gaming with Defined Generation Returns. And this has games like Outrun, Fantasy Zone, Golden Axe, uh, Space Harrier, and games like that on it. But they have been changed to 3D for this version. This is the only collection that I know of. Um, I think they, they released these separately in Japan, I want to say. Uh, in America, actually, the American version of this has an extra game. It has, um, uh, I want to say Smash TV. Alien Syndrome, it's not Smash TV. It has Alien Syndrome, so it has 10 games. We have 9 games, because in the UK version, they thought Alien Syndrome was too, uh, too gory. To have a, to have a you know a 12 rating as it is so yeah they're 3d remakes journey uh we'll be seeing how good they are because like you know i i like golden axe but i like the original golden axe so we'll see i'm not sure about this but this was really cheap in cx so i picked it up and i thought since we since we got through the game fairly quickly that i was unboxing a stream we might as well do some pickups i meant to do these previously but like i said i was sick and i ended up putting them away and kind of forgot <laughs> Uh, nextly, for the PS2, we have Underworld, The Eternal War. Now, I don't mind the film, uh, Underworld. Know nothing about the game. This was a couple of pounds in CX, so I picked it up. Imagine a war that is centuries old between two immortal races to determine who will rule the night. That's this game. Look at some clips on the back. It looks like a hack and slash. Don't know anything about it. I uh, have the manual in there and the uh, disc. So pretty good. I'm happy about that. Might be all right because the um, Van Helsing, uh, the Van Helsing was pretty good uh, on the PlayStation Two and Xbox. So this might be all right. 
And uh, next up we have uh, for the Mega Drive, and this one I got in Retro Replay in St. Austell. And it is Mega Swiv. Now if you don't know what Mega Swiv is, that's because you probably know it under the name of Firepower 2000 in the USA. And it is a top-down shooter. Well, I should say I should say it's a scrolling shooter, not a top-down shooter. I'm, I'm still I'm still thinking of Super Smash TV. That's why I say top-down shooter. It's a scrolling shooter. It's a you know, this kind of game I like. There you go. Uh, the Super Nintendo version of this is called Super Swiv, really creatively. And yeah, I've seen this go for a lot more than I paid for it. I paid fifteen. It is not in great condition. No, no manual. Um, the cartridge itself is a bit roughed up. Hey, Gundam Rust Gaming, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. What is up, buddy? Um, but it's a shooter, so I thought I would go grab it. DAP Gamer, or DAP Gamer, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. What is up, buddy? Um, but I love space shooters, so I had to pick this up. Um, unfortunately, uh, from what I understand, the Mega Drive version has the worst music. And also, I believe the Mega Drive version is European exclusive as well. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but the Super Nintendo version has better music, so I probably should have got that. And in the next place I went to, which is Big E's Games and DVDs after Retro Replay, they had the Super Nintendo version, so I regret not picking that up instead of this. Hey, we're close to that next subscriber goal, are we? Nice, Ellie! <laughs> and if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content, including crazy uh, live stream unboxings and playthroughs like today, where I really have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. And uh, thanks for joining me, guys. The next game I got is from Biggie's Games and DVDs. And it is... Arkanoid! Do it again! Yep, that's right, do it again. This is kind of like... a more extravagant version of Arkanoid with like a, a crazy sci-fi story added to it. But essentially, it's just Arkanoid. Uh, I say just Arkanoid. Arkanoid is great. Don't know how it's going to play without a. Uh, don't know how it's going to play without a paddle controller. But there you go. There's some gameplay. As you can see, you fight off against crazy aliens, the doe, and all sort of stuff. Pretty good looking. Like what I really like here is that the alien in that picture is in the shape of a space invader. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, these are kind of custom cases that they a lot of the stuff they had in Biggie's Games and DVDs were in. Uh, inside there, the cartridge is immaculate as well, so it's pretty good going. But essentially, I count this as being, you know, an unboxed copy. This is not an original box. Pretty glad to get that. And next up, I got a gold cartridge. And you could, you could call this, I guess, an unholy grail. I'm going to say an unholy grail. Um, but before that, I... I got uh, I got something associated with it, so it was a, it was a gold cartridge NES game, and a controversial one for some people maybe. I picked up uh, this is another thing I saw when I was leaving Big East Games and DVDs. Uh, so although I did uh, video some gameplay footage recently, I didn't capture this, um, but I found this just on the way out. And they are um, cartridge sleeves. Two of them say Nintendo, one of them doesn't. I got them for a pound each. Uh, if you look at the eBay prices for these things normally. That's a very good deal. I'm always looking for more of these. I like putting my cartridges in them. Even though um, my cartridges are already in box protectors, I still like having these. Really cool. I like to have them. And these are in good shape as well. Uh, a pound each, way better than if you were going to go to eBay to get these. Cool to have that. And next up, the Unholy Grail. I actually already have it in a, uh, I, I said I had cartridge protectors, I get these from Game, uh, My Game Vault is where you get these uh, box protectors. It is a gold cartridge, and it is, uh, it is not the gold cartridge you're looking for, I'm afraid, because it is Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link. Um, yeah, Zelda, Zelda 2, some people really love this game, some people really hate it. I uh, I like my Zeldas to be top down. I what can I say? I like a top down Zelda. This is a side scrolling Zelda. Don't know how I feel about it. Um, but I didn't have a uh, gold cartridge for this. It's nice. It's a very nice. It's it's a lovely thing to have in the collection, and it looks really nice to have on the shelf. I would have liked Zelda Two to be a top down game, 
but it is what it is. It was a nice change of pace before they'd settled into their uh, style. Putting it back in the box protector as well. You can get box protectors from my game vault. Hey, no worries, Gundam Rust Gaming. Great to have you here, my friend. <laughs> there are worse games out there. There are certainly worse games out there, Jonin, and we've played them, my friend. <laughs> ah, so guys, that was uh, an unboxing of Wonder Boy, the collector's edition. From Strictly Limited Games, I know I did go off, to uh, off topic towards the end there with uh, various things, but a lot of cool stuff in there. You had the soundtrack CD, of course. You had the little um, keychain, like that as well, that was pretty nice. And you had the bag, the bag I really like, classic. And we played the game a ton as well, H having the easy mode. Do I have Super Mario games? I have. The Super Mario All Stars on the Super Nintendo, which has um, which has the 16-bit versions, and on the NES, I believe I have a, a double cartridge for the first one. And I I play them on the Super Nintendo because the NES I mentioned it previously actually the NES was not localized very well in the UK at all. Um, so the the Mega Drive. And the and the master system were way more prevalent in Europe than the NES. And in actual fact, back in the day, I was playing the Commodore 64. Um, but yeah, I do have the Super Mario games. I don't have the modern Super Mario games though. I don't have the new ones. Those I want. And lastly, oh, I almost forgot the sticker sheet. You have the sticker sheet in there as well, which I mistook for an art book when I saw it. <laughs> and you have the game itself, which we were playing a bit. Really fun. Uh, I like the addition of an easy mode, makes it more accessible, and we certainly got through it a lot more. Uh, I like this case. This case was really cool. Uh, very reminiscent of the original case for the Master System. Love that game. It contr it controlled. It controlled a lot better. I will say on the PlayStation Four, but that could be my controller. Wonder Boy Returns. And if you guys want to see the unboxing for that. No worries guys, if you if you want to see the unboxing for it, you can go ahead and check this video, it will be on the channel, uh, you can scroll back, uh, I, I played this for a ton, it's a good game, uh, I really liked it, glad I picked it up, and I'll be putting that all back in its case and sorting that all out, and guys, that's it, it's been awesome having you here, if you like the video, please leave a like or comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content and if you'd like to you can support me on patreon for as little as a dollar a month thank you for watching guys i've been mvl and i will catch you next time hey chaos how you doing my friend great to see you here uh right at the end i'll see you next time guys awesome to have you here and i will catch you next time <laughs>